And CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg joins me. How confident are investigators that this is a piece of that missing flight? Highly confident because the Boeing officials in Seattle took a look at the photographs of that wing, even when it was on the beach, that piece of the wing called the Flapperon, and basically recognized it as one of theirs. So we're just waiting for confirmation now from the officials in France. But the Boeing guys are highly confident that this is what it is. So Seth mentioned the barnacles yeah. on this thing. How important is the role for Oceana? oceanographers now to go in and be able to analyze those? Uh, crucial because you can actually kind of backtrack the history of those barnacles based on the fact of at what depth do they exist, how long have they been on that piece of metal, how long did they attach themselves, which will explain the entire journey that that piece of metal took. And but, potentially yeah. could lead investigators back to a bigger site? Well, interestingly enough, people think, oh, this will narrow the search area. No, it'll just move it. It'll move it closer to where they think it might be, but it's going to still be a rather large piece of geography to cover. Remember, the Australians have been doing this since the, the thing happened in 17 months ago. The key here is really to figure out how long was this piece of metal submerged, because the barnacles would indicate that piece of medical, metal was on the floor of the ocean for quite some time. When we're talking about this search, I mean, you mentioned 17 months. Is it still active? Is it still ongoing? Or is it just that this happened to be spotted and has reignited an active search. No, it is an active search. The Australians have extended that search. They've never stopped it. They've gotten a lot of support, both technical, uh, in terms of apparatus from the United States as well. A lot of different countries are helping. The Australians are the lead country in this. Uh, and for so many families, not hearing anything just led to conspiracy theories and sure. wondering whether it was possible their loved ones were alive but stranded somewhere. What does this do for them? Well, I want to give everybody some caution here. The finding of this piece of wing doesn't mean we're going to solve everything tomorrow. In fact, it just means they're going to start looking even more. Mm. Uh, we could be another year away. And even then, unless they find dis I mean, definitive evidence of an onboard fire or an attack or, or a catastrophic disintegration of the plane in the air, uh, we may just have a piece of metal right now. Peter Greenberg, thank you. Yeah.